Welcome to Relationship SOS. It is a new year, which means New Year's resolutions for couples. Right. Deborah McLeod joins us right now. What are some New Year's resolutions for couples, and how, do, how does that work in the new year? You know, I want couples in 2012, right? Mm -hmm. the, the world might end, but let's uh, try and save your marriage. <laughs> to adopt a new policy, and I call it the blame yourself first policy. I don't think I like the sound so, of it, but okay. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't, you know? <laughs> but whatever's happening in your marriage, whatever conflict you're having, whatever disagreement, whatever expectation priority you're trying to work out, whatever, I want you to take a new policy where everything that happens, you just blame yourself first. Try and take as much accountability as you can, try and see it from your other partner's perspective. No fancy stuff, no big, you know, whatever graphs to follow, just blame yourself first because most conflicts can continue, persist because people are not accountable and I think that's the best way to do it. Not only are you being accountable, but you're seeing it from your partner's perspective. So this works where you're, I'm so sorry, honey, that you I did this, this, this wrong. And okay. think about it before I you say it. Wrong. Think okay. about it, all the things you did wrong, because we're really good at pointing out all the things the other person did wrong, right? So you take the blame for whatever happened. Blame yourself first. That okay. is a way to just work through that and see your role in it. Honey, okay? I burnt the pot roast. I should have been watching it for you. That's right. That's would exactly she, would right. Would you be off offended by that? It doesn't matter if she is. There's some reason <laughs> that she burnt the pot roast, and I guarantee that you had a role in it. So I'm saying own up to that, okay? okay? So that's number one. Number two, get off the social media. Facebook, I want couples to go to once a week Facebook. Once a week? Preferably, I'd prefer that everybody had a shared fa Facebook profile, right? Married oh, yeah. and committed couples, but mm -hmm. I know that's not going to happen. So I'm saying once a week. Because look at 20, 30 years ago. How often did you keep in contact with your friends? Maybe once well, a week, you right? You called everybody on a Sunday night. Here's the thing. Nobody cares what you're doing. We don't have to do these 5,000, you know, updates. Oh, I just made soup. Oh, the kids just went to school. Who nobody cares. <laughs> no. The only people that care what you're doing is your spouse, who I hear all the time in the office. I'm just tired of seeing the back of her head. I'm tired of seeing the back of his head. It's always on the computer. Nobody cares what you're doing except your spouse and your kids, both of whom, all of whom, you're ignoring when you're sitting at that stupid computer all the time. There you have it. Yep. Social media takes a back seat in 2012, and apparently so do you. We'll see you next time <laughs> on Relationship SOS.